Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Aaron and today I'm going to be going over the recent patch notes and more specifically the zombies patch notes, what changed in zombies um, in Black Ops 3 as of just a few days ago. It's the March update. So first let me tell you this, I wasn't originally going to do this video because most updates are just, you know, like, oh look, the menus changed a little bit, but this time zombies has had the biggest update that it's ever had before in the history of zombies and i'm gonna get right into it so first off all gumball machines are always on so anywhere there could be a gumball machine there's no more moving around they're all on all the time which is really good especially for their ice and track first room so you don't have to play your odds at trying to get the gumballs you need and have to restart and keep doing that so i think that's really really cool next up also about gobble, gobble gum machine you can access it multiple times in a round and right now i think that number is four three for sure but i think it is four but each time you go i think the first one's 500 the next one's 2500 then it's 5000 and then i think it's 9000 i'm not too sure about that one but Next up, you can get um, multiple liquid diviniums in a game instead of just two. Uh, and the Gobble Gun Pack is displayed whenever you hit the back button. Whenever you check your score, you look at the scoreboard, you're going to be able to see what gumballs you have and how many of each you have. That's really cool because, honestly, I've forgotten before what gumballs I had. And I didn't know what I was doing whenever I went to hit the gumball machine. So I'm glad they added that. Next up, this is in Shadows of Evil. Uh, now all items and gate worms are going to be uh, in a shared inventory system. Which basically means no more like that one person that just holds a gate worm and never puts it down. So you're going to be able to do that now. Uh, you can put it down for them. And I think that's really cool. Mainly one person stays down there. Another person goes and picks up a gate worm. You keep activating. It's going to make the setup just that much faster. Next time, rich, the ritual duration has been reduced. I don't think it was that long. I mean, it was okay for what it was, but who knows? They, they changed it down, so that's good. And they have a couple of bug fixes in Shadows of Evil. Next up, Der Isendrak. Yet again, just some bug issues. Uh, and some exploits that were happening. And the last part is Dead Ops Arcade. So let me tell you guys why these updates are important and why I think it's the best. Well, I, I think it's the only update that's directly affected zombies this much. So let me tell you exactly why as a high round player, as a just a regular zombie player tells it. So first of all, the gumball machines all active. Probably in, if you play like maybe around 90, 80, 70, somewhere right in there, a high round where you're having to go and get gumball machines and you're having to look for one. You're having to be like, oh, it's not here. Let me go here. Let me go here. I think in a full game up to about, uh, maybe 70 to 90 saves you about 15 minutes worth of searching uh, because sometimes it does take a while to look for one, especially on Shadows of Evil. So I'm very glad that worked. Next up. The gumball, gobble gum machine can be accessed multiple times per round. I know the prices are steep, especially for any round below 20, but you got to think, once you're up in those high rounds, money isn't really a thing anymore. You just make it. You've got it. You're not buying anything else. And being able to get pop shocks is hard, especially whenever you only have five times in between each time whenever the Panzer comes and whenever it's there. You only get five tries unless you're playing co-op, then you get 10, 15, 20, and that makes it a little bit easier. But being able to do this multiple times means that you can get uh, the ammo, you can get alchemical. And then once you, you've, you use that, you can go and you can get the next thing. You can get the next thing. You see what I'm saying? See what I'm doing here? You can just have gumballs whenever you need them. And in high rounds, that is especially important. I can't tell you how many times I've just wanted another gumball and wasn't able to get it. So, And the last one is being able to get a ton of liquid diviniums in one game. Once you guys play anything above round 50 and you see how many gumballs you get, you will understand. Especially if you're buying a lot of things. Maybe you walk away with 10 plus. Who knows? I can't wait to test this stuff. Very, very cool. I do like the scoreboard thing. I was able to see that. I was able to purchase multiple gobble gums, but I usually got it the second time I used it. So I haven't really used it too much. I haven't went to the extent. Now, I want you guys to watch the end of this game. Look what happened. 
The panther was walking in midair for some reason, and then fell over here, and then instantly just did something to Tyler, and then I'm like, well, what can I do? And I get one smacked by it. Hope you guys enjoyed this game. My name is Aaron. I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new commentary.